if you're losing one to two percent a year, uh, it seems like <laughs> they, almost everybody at a, by age 60, 65 would be well, right. it deficient. It, 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 it could be that way. I mean, it varies depending whether you're more in the one percent category or maybe the one and a half or two percent. But um, certain things tend to accelerate that. I mean, if you're obese, that tends to make you have worse uh, to drop in testosterone. Say if you were an athlete when you were younger and had a concussion and had a brain injury, that can increase the chance of having low testosterone. Just even things such as stress can tend to lower your testosterone. It tends to turn off your brain, the hypothalamus and pituitary's drive to produce these hormones. When you see patients that have low testosterone, uh, what is the biggest thing you see? Is it muscle loss, is it increased fat distribution, or is it small testicles? What is the big? Well, like the small testicles, that's kind of a little bit of a later thing. It can happen. It depends on how long standing the problem has been going on. So many times they're being brought in by their wife or uh, they're just sent in because the doctor did a screening value and it's low and they, because they complain to their doctor of being fatigued, no interest in anything, maybe they were getting a little dumpy and a little fat uh, and wanted to see if there was something they could do to help them. 